This is a solution to question 4, paper 2 of the SQA's Curriculum for Excellence Specimen Higher Exam. Four parts to this question. Part A asks us to take the expression log to the base 4, 2x, and write it in this different form. Now the result we're going to use here is that the log of the product of two numbers, a and b for instance, would be the sum of the two logs log a plus log b because in this example here we've got 2 times x so we would end up with log to the base 4 of 2 plus log to the base 4 of x so part of our answer is there we want the log to the base 4 of x plus k so we have to determine what log to the base 4 of 2 is now various ways of doing it one of the ways that we can do this is, well, if we look at an example log the base 10 of 100, we probably know that's 2 because 10 squared is 2. What power do you raise 10 to to get 100? So in a similar way, what power do you raise 4 to to get 2? And this is the power we're after. Now, 4 to the power of half with the square root of 4. So a half would fit the bill for that. Um, we could, I suppose, uh, there's k equals log to the base 4 of 2. So we're rewriting it in effect as a power, a power statement, 4 to the power k equals 2. Uh, we could deal with the 4 as being 2 squared and say we've got a, something raised to power raised to power, we multiply these indices, we get 2 to the power 2k equals 2 to the power 1. Therefore, the two powers must be equal. 2k equals 1, therefore k equals a half. So, lots of ways of doing it, but a half is what we're after. And then it asks us to determine, uh, or describe the relationship between the graphs of the graph y equals log to the base 4 of 2x and y equals log to the base 4 of x. So graph of y equals log to the base 4x plus a half would be move graph one half unit parallel to the y-axis. If, if we have, for instance, some graph y equals f of x. If we add a half to that, the whole graph just slides up half a unit. So that would be y equals f of x plus a half. So that's part A and part B. Part C, determine the coordinates of the point where the graph of y equals log to the base 4 of 2x, where it intersects the x-axis. So for x-axis intercept, we set y equal 0. So we're looking at log to the base 4 of 2x equals 0. What power do you raise 4 to, to get 2x? Answer 0. So if we raise 4 to the power 0, we get 2x. So this is telling us that 2x is equal to 1. 4 to the power 0 is 1. And therefore, x equals 1 half. Now they ask for the coordinates of the point where it intersects the x-axis. So required point is a half 0. So let's ta tackle the last part where we're wanting the inverse graph of this graph of f of x equals log to the base 4 of 2x. Now there's several things, first of all, about the graph log to the base 4 of 2x. We first of all know its x-axis intercept is a half zero. And we also know that it can be obtained from the graph of y equals log to the 4x by a shift vertically of half a unit. 
Now, the graph of log to the base 4x, there's a typical log graph. And all basic log graphs cross at the point 1, 0. So if we're going to be shifting this up half a unit, we'll get to the point 1, a half. So at least we know that that point also is on this graph. So let's now look at the graph y equals log to the base 4 of 2x. We know it crosses at a half zero and we know that it passes through the point 1, a half. So there's the point one a half, and there's the point a half zero. So that's y equals log to the base four of two x. And we want the inverse of this log of, of this graph. The inverse graphs you're swapping the rows of x and y. And the inverse graph can be obtained by flipping the graph in y equals x. So the graph of y equals log to the base 4 of 2x with these two known points can be flipped. This point goes up to there and this point will go to there. And we'll get a graph, a typical exponential graph, which is the inverse graph. So this is the graph of y equals f to the minus 1 of x, where f of x is equal to log to the base 4 of 2x. Now, we need to annotate it. Since we know this is the point half 0, this will be the point 0, a half. Since we knew this is the point one a half, this will be the point a half one. The rows of x's and y's are swapped round. So there's the required inverse graph with two points given on it.